Hi, my name is Emma Soltero, and I will be performing two pieces for you today, Earthquake Chica by Anne Garcia Romero and Melancholy Play by Sarah Rule. You don't get it, Sam. I want to finish things. I can't. See, if I stop for too long, then the empty, lonely silence starts to descend, and I have no way out. Before, booze and boys were the great escape, but I don't want that anymore, so I have to keep moving. If I don't, then my mind starts to earthquake. It starts to move and shift and get destructive. So I'm earthquake chica in a way. In my head, I guess. <laughs> now you're going back to prison law firm land and I'll be all alone. I hate my tiny apartment. I lie in bed and I can hear my nutcase neighbor screaming at his Siamese cat or play electric bass at midnight and I think, what's the point? Why live another day? I mean, why have all this craziness in my head? Oh, my breath. No, really, what's the point? If I'm an earthquake and I'm so destructive, why keep being on this planet? Why not just be gone forever? Everyone's left me. I'm not helping anyone, apparently. I'm not really good at anything, can't keep jobs, can't even have a relationship. So really, why be here? Why not just be gone for good? Who would really care? <laughs> so you say you care, but do you really? I don't think so. I mean, you can't stand being with me so much that you're going back to that horrible job in that faraway land where large belly secretaries room. And then you'll be gone like everyone else in my life. You don't really care. Nobody does. But that's okay. I can leave this planet and no one would care. I lie in bed and I think about how I do it. Pills, razor blades, rope. And I think maybe, why not? Who would really care? I think it's interesting when a shy person says that they're a shy person because that's not a really shy thing to say. Or when a person says, I'm not a self-absorbed person. Isn't that funny when people say that? Because they're, you know, they're talking about themselves. Or when a person says, do you think I'm insecure? Do you get it? Because if they have to ask them, I, <laughs> I always think it's funny when people say those things. I'm dating a man named Frank now. He's a tailor. <sighs> Isn't that a beautiful name? Like Frankfurter. Sort of American. Oh, I love the smell of hot dogs at a baseball game. Mm. Do you ever have that feeling when you wake up in the morning? That you're in love but you don't know with what? <laughs> it's, it's like this feeling that you want to love strangers. You want to kiss the man at the post office or the woman at the dry cleaners. You want to wrap your arms around life, life itself, but you can't. And you have this feeling welling up inside you and you don't know where to put this great happiness and you're floating. <laughs> but then you fall back down again and you become unbearably sad. And then you have to lay down on the couch. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Everyone's always asking, Tilly, are you still in therapy? I say something like I had a bad day and they're like, Tilly, are you still in therapy? I go to therapy and my therapist falls in love with me. I have to be careful. Wait, am I acting weird? Thank you.